hope you're well welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Seppi and today I'm joined by a special guest my mum hello um this is my mum Marzi today we're filming something so special so I we're Iranian and I absolutely love Afghan food okay um so I love Iranian food of course but um yeah I I love all types of food, but Afghan food is one of my favorite. And my mum's best friend, Hamida Jorn, um, always makes the best Afghan food ever. So I love kabali polo, I love mantel, those are my top two favorites. And today, we are going to be eating Hamida Jorn, my mum's best friend's kabali polo. So we're going to be having a little mukbang and chatting with you guys and having Afghan food and trying it out and telling you guys just if how you're lucky, you have an Afghan neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They've been in for you every week, different kind of food. It's lovely, so delicious. So, thank you so much, Hamid Ajun. Again, Hamid Ajun, that's Thank you on very that much, Hamid Ajun. Um, and I'm so excited to try this. Um, yes. And we've also got to accompany, my mum made some salad shirazi, which is an Iranian salad. And this yogurt, Hamid Ajun, uh, she made. Oh yeah, that's like fresh made yes. yogurt. Um, and then we've also got some chilies. Um, so that is what we're going to be eating. And I'm very, very excited. So, Bekeshi. Okay. Mom, yes. what is inside Kabbalah Polo? Oh, there is a lot of lovely meat. Um, oh, inside is um, sultana, huh? carrots, huh? Um, meat, yeah, lovely meat, yeah, and uh, rice. Mm -hmm. And rest, I have to ask Hamid, did you We don't that? actually know the recipe because if we did, then I would. <laughs> if we did, then I would um, make my mom make it more often. It's so delicious. Yeah, it's so yummy. Yeah. In general, I think there isn't, I don't know if there's many Afghan restaurants in London. Is there any Afghan restaurants in London? Mom? Yes, there is. Not many, but there is uh, Afghan restaurant. But you couldn't compare this lovely Qabali uh, Polo with. Uh, restaurant. So my mum and I are going to try this now and give you like a little review of what it tastes like. Ready? <laughs> I've missed this food so much. Oh my god. So it is literally so good because it tastes sweet, right? Yes. But it's also got like that meaty, juicy flavour and the meat has been like cooked for hours. You can just tell because it's all so soft. It's really soft and nice. And all kind of taste is mixed, mm -hmm. like sweet, mm -hmm. salty, everything. It's really delicious. I couldn't explain really because it's so nice. Mum, when was the first time that you tried Afghan food? Um, 28 years ago in my parents' house. Yeah. So like, it's always been like, when we've tried Afghan food, it's always been home cooking. So. If any of you guys are Londoners and you can recommend like uh, Afghan restaurants to us, then please do. But yeah, a lot of the Afghan food that we like is like home food. Um, but my mum doesn't know how to make it and I'm not the biggest cook. What was the first food that you ever learned how to make? Egg. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for everybody. No, but like first <clears throat> proper food. Uh, first proper food, probably lubia polo. Lubia polo is uh, green beans and meat and chopped, small chopped meat and rice. It's nice. I, I love it. It's really nice. So I can't actually make Iranian food. Like, I, I don't know. No, how to can. no, I can't. When have you ever seen me make Iranian food? Um, but I can make stuff like... Um, you couldn't make it on <laughs> Oh my god. I barely know how to make rice, which is so bad. But I know how to make stuff like pasta. <laughs> I'm really good at pasta. Um, I know how to make stuff like um, Mexican food. Mm, oh. Yeah, I make really good Mexican food. I'm not going to toot my own horn here, but yeah, I make really good Mexican food, ramen, <laughs> like basically anything that like m and and Waitrose has like all the ingredients there lined up on the shelf and you just throw it in but together. Uh, your Mexican food is really delicious. Mm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And um, Italian food and Indian food. Yeah. You make nice curry. I've never ever made curry in my life. That's no. fine. <laughs> Does anyone else's parents mix them up with like their siblings? My mum always mixes me up. And she's like, Bada, it was you. And it's like, it really was not me. So last week I asked you guys on Instagram to send me in 
um, some of your assumptions about me and that I will answer them uh, with my parents. So my mum is here and I have some of the assumptions people have made about me. And mum, you're gonna, I'm gonna read them to you and you're gonna say if it's true or not. <laughs> the first assumption is you're actually hard working at uni. Oh, you're hard working everywhere. Uni, home, it's not, um, of course, you are, you haven't got time to um, tidy up or that kind of um, things. I don't want you to do it. But for cooking, uh, not Iranian food, any kind of thing. <laughs> yes, for cooking, for preparing a lot of things for your job, for uni, mm. everything. Always she's working hard. If uh, she has uh, extra time, she's working for uh, those, um, she preparing everything for YouTube and always she think about all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so next assumption is, I bet you love Afghan music. I actually can't lie to you. I, I don't, there's only one Afghan artist I know and that's Shahab Dian. Like Shahab Dian, <laughs> I've not really heard Afghan music. Do you have any music Afghan music? Ahmad Zahir, oh my God. I haven't heard him. Yes, you heard, but I couldn't remember any songs. Yes, Ahmad Zahir. Ahmad Zahir, we love Ahmad Zahir songs. And uh, another thing, Kamar Bari, Kiman. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Mom, I don't know Afghan music, but this is assumptions about me, not you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone said, you're lazy in the house. <laughs> not at all. Mom. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't I don't do much at home. But sweetie, you are busy with all your own things. <laughs> of course, I, mm, she's not cleaning. And I don't want she clean because she hasn't got time. If she has a time, yes, of course. But never ever she hasn't got one extra minute. Always she's busy. I'm glad that you backed me up there because I think I don't I think it's true that assumption I don't do. Yes, because I, I, I can I see when busy. you go to bed uh, still you continue until Bihushbeshi. Someone said, you eat a lot of food, but you don't gain weight. Because you do exercise. I'm also like careful, like as in, if I eat a lot today, then I won't eat a lot tomorrow to kind of balance it out. And as to be honest, good things about hair is not very a strict diet. That is no good and is danger for your body. But she's really careful. Sometimes, yes, she has a donut, she has a... Um, what do you call it? That one you're going to Hamastet and you crap, <laughs> crap. She has a crap and uh, she has a lot of dessert, but she um, she can control herself in moderation. In moderation. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> yes, but on that time you need, you shouldn't control. I don't know if you guys saw that as Tarof, by the way, where your mom gives you food even though your plate is still full. And she's still putting more on my plate, but her own plate is empty. <laughs> okay, so next question says, you want to have many children? Yes, it's true. How many do I want? Shall I say? Mm -hmm. You're crazy, you want four. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> but I think... I, I think letter. four... <laughs> I with a letter. <laughs> I think four is such a good number because there's always two and two together. No, and then four, four is too four. much. Oh. <laughs> that time is past. <laughs> what do you mean that time is past? Wait, no, that is that. Um, a lot of children and it was belonged to a long time ago. Now people did. But people still now have loads of children. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think three is best. I think you're just saying that because you have three. Yes. <laughs> uh, next question. You are happy in life with everything? Yes, she is. No. no? No, I'm a human. Of course, there'll be times when, like, there are things that upset me or like things that oh, yes, stress yes. me out or like I'm like at the end of the day. Yes, you had a lot of yes. Of course, in the past you was worried for uni, which kind of. Uh, but like even day to day, like I feel like everyone everyone has worries day to day. I can't say like I'm always a hundred percent happy. I think my happiest times in life are usually summer. Because like I don't yes. have university, I can travel, I can relax and I know that I've got a job to go back to like as in I've got university to go back to or school to go back to so I don't feel like without purpose either so I can have good fun. That's my like mm. happiest time in my opinion. It says you're happy in life with everything and it's 
as in I'm really grateful always for, for anything that comes my way and I feel like even like um, if it's something difficult or if I make a mistake or I do something that like oh like why did I do that I regret it I still like I'm happy that it happened because I'll learn from it and even though I might be upset at the time I'll learn from it in the future next assumption you are spoiled not really yeah no why do you say that I'm not I don't know because you are such a lovely but spoiled means like oh, loose I... yeah loose no you are not loose <laughs> I love the way she says this as she's stroking my hair. <laughs> oh, Bigel, why do you think I'm not spoiled? You can't no, just say I'm not. I think not. you're not because if, for example, you haven't got, I didn't cook anything, and you, you're not that kind of children. And boy, you haven't got food and you order for yourself takeaway or... She's really, really very good. No, but I think spoiled as well, people think... If I say, oh, I want this bag or I want these shoes, I can have no. it like this. Yes, but you're not a sport. Why do you say that though? Because it um, depends the situation you understand. That kind of children, if you haven't got, still they don't care and they want it. But you, you depends the situation you understand. It's not you say, no, I want it and I say, I can't. And you say, no, I, I say, I can't afford And you say, no, I want this. It's not like that. It's not I would say, all. me replying to this assumption of I'm spoiled, I would say the reason why I don't think I'm spoiled is because since the age of 16, um, I've always had a job and I've always made my own money. Yes. I bought my first car myself. Mm -hmm. And... Um, White BMW. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I bought it myself. And um, I've like always worked hard. In my gap year, I was working how many hours? I had a full time job. Ten hours a day. I, I, more. I had more because I had a full time job in a department store. I would tutor in the evenings, and in the mornings, oh, early, yes. early morning, I would go to this GP and, vol and volunteer there so I can get yes. experience. So she's really hard worker. So I would say that I'm not spoiled because I know the value of money all the way from working minimum wage in a department store to making like really good money as a private tutor like mm -hmm. and money from being a youtuber and influencer i always know the value of things and i don't expect anything from yeah. anyone Ta as he so um that's why i don't think i'm spoiled so yeah you're yeah. not yeah but i think um like maybe because i've been on stuff like oh rich kids go skint um, which was a TV show, if none of you guys know this, I was on this TV show called Rich, Rich Kids Go Skint, which is, I was season one, episode two. And a lot of you guys have seen the episodes on, episode on YouTube, or like, that's how you found me. So, and a lot of you messaged me saying that, like, I came across, like, really well. I, I basically never, ever got any negative feedback off of it. Like, at the time that it came out, I think, like, for every 1,000 nice messages I received, I'd received, like, one bad message. So, that is, like, crazy to come off a show about spoiled kids. Um, so, no, I don't think I'm spoiled. Because uh, for that age, you was very mature and mm -hmm. very nice, and uh, you understand everything. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. Uh, next one, you party every weekend. No. Definitely not. I don't party every weekend. I think like... Um, Depends. Sometimes for four months, she's very busy, she is study, working hard, nothing at all. Mm -hmm. And of course, when uh, summer holiday, she go to Cannes. Yeah. Of course. Or, or if she go to Mykonos, of course, she is in holiday and she has, she has to enjoy. Yeah, I don't party. Depends the situation. I don't party every weekend. Um, definitely not. Uh, I think though. Sometimes few months, not. When and then sometimes every day, like for like a week, like on yes. holiday or something like that. So yes, like Christmas. But Christmas, I didn't go out every day. No. Yeah, no, I'm not like a it's family time. I, I'm not a party animal. Like in in London, I'm not like a party animal. I might go out like once on a weekend, um, like during the month that I'm not busy with like uni work, but um, not like all the time. Mm. But I do love to go out and party. I think life is so important and to have a work-life balance. I wouldn't be able to be a good medical student. I wouldn't be able to be a good YouTuber if I didn't have time to relax as well. So yeah, I think, I think life is all about balance. You must have a balance. Yeah. Oh, someone said, this is Ish by the way, 
ish 2001 he always writes me the nicest messages said i used to think that you're so prestige but actually you're the most amazing person love you thank mm. you thank um, you very much someone said you love tadig she loved Tadig. i love tadiga yeah i love potato tadig and i love tachin yes i was bored a little bit Probably I confused again. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Someone said, You're a thoughtful, caring, and amazing person. Bless you. Oh, you are. Thanks. Thank you very much. And thank oh, you for you all your nice comment. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one I bet you got so much tuition and extra help, and that's how you're a medical student. She hadn't one single uh, hour extra. Yeah, I've never, ever, ever, never, in my life ever. Had All a the time she was working hard herself. Yeah. Um, never. I'm, I work really well under pressure. Like, that's just me in life. Like, yes. if I know I've got, like, I can't work a little bit. I, I mean, I can work a little can bit every day, but I can't work, like, um, three hours a day and then like come exam season still be working three hours a day because in if I'm working three hours a day in an exam season that will stress me out but I have friends who are like that I like to work um like in the last two months or now I've got 10 weeks of my exam so that's two and a half months I, th I believe or like just about two months and I've started working and bearing in mind it's my final year so everything that I'm going and everything that I'm studying pretty much is just going over again and I've already started so I work well under pressure and I like I like exams I don't like it I don't like this the stress of course no one likes the stress but I like exams because I think exams are there to show you not anyone else not your mum not your dad not your teacher not your friends not not society no one exams are there to show you just how hard you've worked and how much you've understood from what you've read so never ever care about your grade of course it's easier said than done like if you need grades to do a certain degree or something of course you're going to work hard for it but always remember that the reason why you're sitting this exam is to show yourself how hard you've been working so that's why i like exams that being said i get really bad like in exam time i get like asthma i can't breathe mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah like, oh. and i don't realize and i'll just think like oh my asthma has gone oh my god <laughs> yeah Oh my god. I drink so red much Bull. Red Bull. She's drinking so much Red Bull and it's affected on her. Yeah. And really, really bad. Yeah. It's no good. Yeah. I mean, I don't recommend Red Bull, and but the I only would, things I would I'm worried if I said I didn't use yes. I have like two or three cans a day during exam season, which I really, really, really don't recommend. I have like, yeah. It's I'm, no good. It's no good. <gasps> The only thing is, is making me worried when exam time is Red Bull. I don't want she's having because it's affected on her body and it's no good. Mm. So, first off, want to say thank you again to Hamida John for making this food. It was so good. Loved it. And second of all, sorry if there was something in my teeth the whole time because no, <laughs> I was eating. But thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you thank to my you mom. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining mm, and thank answering you. the questions. And thank you, Hamidi Thank you very much. Don't forget to check out my socials. They're always linked down below. But my Instagram is Persian Bunny. My mom's Instagram is Marizia Samai. She's got like one and a half thousand followers, even though she like birdie <laughs> posts. So, you know, you're a cool gal. Well, thank you. Um, and my Snapchat is Sepi Samai. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you. Bye.